Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Full Hilt by William Archer Chastain. Um, for those of you wondering why we're not starting out on title screen, this is actually how the game boots up. Uh, I, I opened up the game and it just brought me to this. So I, I don't think I've seen that many games where you like start in the middle of a cutscene like this. <laughs> I think that's enough for tonight. Why don't I read you a bedtime story? You always love my stories. Now then. Let's see. Which story will it be tonight? Hmm, you want to read this one to, to the you again, little one. But you always want me to read this one. Alright, you win. I'll read it. Also, our character is personified as a heart, which I find kind of interesting. This book has four different stories in it. Which would you like me to start with? Now, something kind of cool about this game, I, I don't really know much about this game, although this is my third time recording for reasons I might get into later. Um, yeah, um, so the H.io page uh, claimed that this game has like four different stories to it, so it's kind of like an anthology sort of game about four different heroes, which is kind of interesting. Um, I've tried recording the first one and the third one. Um, I've had troubles with it though. Uh, the dev told me he fixed some of the problems, so let's go ahead and just start with the first one, I guess. Chapter 1 Aboard the Sky tre uh, Treader. Oh, there's a dog barking outside. One moment. Looks like we're in. This will be too easy. Don't get cocky, Locke. We're not, uh, we're not out of this yet. Heck, you and Locke start looting those crates. Amelia and I will scout ahead. Stay sharp and don't get caught, understood? Yes, sir, Cap uh, Captain. We'll deal with this. You two find a ca uh, the captain of this ship and, uh, get that and get that secret cargo. Come on, Zach, let's get looting. <laughs> I appreciate that two of your party members are Locke and Pick. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, you take damage if you step in the fire? I didn't know that. Um... So, we actually start with some stuff here. Uh, we start with a few potions, healing items, our characters start with equipment, I think. I already looked through all this, I might go through a bit of it um, later on. Um, Amelia dies kind of easily, and Zack is kind of a kind of a strong hitter, that's kind of what I get so far. I think she's like meant to be kind of a mage. Well, regardless, let's move on. Oh. Intruder, halt! Okay, so what do we got here? I'm gonna use uh, some of my magic here. Now, this game appears to use the TP system. Um, as you can see, we have like two bars uh, below our health. Um, they're named different. Uh, different. They're named something else other than TP, though. This attack is really strong, so I'm just gonna go ahead, go, go ahead and use it. Yeah, there we go. Um... Wait, why is Amelia not getting a move? Ah, whatever. <laughs> Damn, the whole ship probably heard that. The upper levels are going to be flooded with guards now. It's no big deal, Zach. Just make the mission more. Just makes the mission more fun. Besides, if we work together, we can beat anyone. I guess you're right. Either way, no point in complaining about it now. Let's head up the deck and find the captain. Maybe he can tell us what the secret cargo is. Did we get an item uh, just now? We got a guard badge. A piece of jewelry meant to mark the guards of uh, Phalia. Its simple design reflects its wearer quite well. Um, that appears to increase, like, defense and stuff, so I'm gonna give it to her. That's luck. That's perfectly fine. What do you have? Oh, goodness, no. Luck in RPG Maker typically just, like, um, just, yeah, you know, just, um, yeah. It typically affects, like, how sustain, uh, susceptible you are to status ailments. There are, um, plugins that fit, that uh, change that. I'm not sure if this game is using one, although I do recognize a few plugins already. Um, let's see. And this appears to be one of those games where, like, you gain your health back after every, uh, after every fight. Not a lot of games do that, actually. Looks like the cannons did way more damage than we, uh, than, uh, than they were supposed to. Um, the, the engine room has holes in the floor everywhere. Be careful, Amelia. Now, I think you can actually fall down these holes, or some of them at least. Um, okay. Yeah, like that. Get a leather armor. Uh, isn't that what we already have? No. Huh? Oh, only he can equip that. 
What does a will do? I'm assuming that's like that's like magical defense. We can live with one less of that for now, I guess. And a magic rope. Okay, so we got some new equip, uh, some new armor for these two. Nice. Every little bit helps in the early game. I kind of like that room. <laughs> Okay, we got random encounters. Nice. Oh, we didn't get our health back. I thought we did, after battles. Yeah, whatever. Um, let's just use this to get it back. Okay, I gotta mention this. I really don't like the sound the game makes uh, when uh, when you go into a random encounter. Like, it actually is a little bit ear grating. <laughs> this battle theme seems kind of goofy too, but whatever. Um, okay, let's go ahead and use some magic. You seem to be good with like magic and stuff, so that's yeah, okay, I guess. And you don't have enough TP for that, so we'll just do a normal attack. Oh wow. Now, I want to talk about, like, one of the reasons I had trouble recording this earlier. Um, these particular enemies right here, these officers, one of them used, like, a defend ability, which seems pretty run of the mill, but for whatever reason, this ability made him invincible. And I don't know why, I couldn't, like, run from the battle at that point either. Um... Ooh, that's, that's a tricky one. More agility, more will, less strength and less max health. You know, I think I'm gonna go ahead and equip that. Oh, we have enough, uh, or we have leather helms as well. Good. Wait. Oh, only he can equip them. Okay, I gotta get used to this. <laughs> Seems the game is pretty liberal, giving you potions too, which I like a lot. I can see several chests and boxes down this hole, even some stairs nearby. There has to be a way down there, right? I think that was that thing we, uh, we examined earlier. Now, one thing I noticed about this game's battle system is that it runs off of, um... I think it's called CTB. Um, which is basically like, uh, it's basically like... If you've ever played Final Fantasy X... Hold on, I gotta turn this volume down for a moment. It's basically like Final Fantasy X, um, where like... Your character's turn order is predetermined. Like, you don't, uh, you don't like, uh, you don't like select your, um, silence. Oh dang, I hope that doesn't last at, um, outside of battle. Your, um, your turn order is predetermined. You don't like, uh, you don't like, uh, um, what was I trying to say? You don't have your, you don't pick your entire party's movements and then they attack. You pick them in real time and then they just attack immediately. Um, there are advantages and disadvantages doing it that way. I'm kind of curious to see why this game might do it. I kind of like the system, honestly. Despite the statue's menacing appearance, it makes me feel safe. Is that a full heal? Oh, it's a full heal, nice. Oh, and it's a save as well. Cool, okay. So what else we got? Well, we have a place where we can like right now because we have like a full heal and a save point right there. So if I need to, uh, if I need to like stop this for a second, because <laughs> the enemies are getting too strong, I can always come back and do that. All right, uh, we got a private and we got an officer. I noticed that, like, some enemies are behind other enemies. I wonder if Rose are a thing in this game. Probably not. This doesn't seem like a game that would have that feature. Also, I'm gonna say start saving up TP for a potential boss. Because you never know. I gotta go back and heal after this, too. Uh, actually, you know what? Hold on. Oh, does one of you have, like, a heal spell? No, you don't. Okay, let's go back in here real quick, then. Oh, there are two chests up here. And we have more enemies. Okay. Wait. 
Wait, they get two attacks? Okay. turn should do it. Don't hit Amelia. Okay, good. There we go. Already she's starting to get stronger. Okay, good. Yeah, she has like a really rough, um, we learned no ability. She has a really rough start just because she like dies so easily. <laughs> All right. I want to see what those new skills are real quick. We learned, uh, Pirate Eye reveals the enemy's statuses and weaknesses. That, that's going to be probably be pretty good for bosses. And you learned to boulder bash. Summon a large boulder from the ground itself to throw at your enemy. <laughs> kind of wonder how that works on an airship, but whatever. <laughs> Dark Steel Claw. Uh, you use the claws. It's more powerful, so why not? And, uh... Hold on, what was that name? Is that a weapon for you? Yes, it is. What's the difference between these two? They seem identical. Let's go ahead and just put it there then. I mean, it's more attack, so why not? You know, I gotta say, I don't really like that these enemies get to go before you, before you, uh, before the turn even starts. Like, I don't know, I once played an RPG that, like, it, it basically it had no bouncing whatsoever, and all of the enemies were, like, by default faster than you, because the dev had, like, no way of <laughs> had, like, no semblance of how to balance that thing. And it was always so frustrating. I didn't really like that about that game. And it, it just gets a little annoying, because it always feels like your enemies are getting pot shots on you, but here it doesn't seem as bad, because it is pretty easy to heal. The door is marked Kitchen. It's locked, sadly. Yes, yeah, so we need to get into the all-important kitchen. Uh, barracks. Probably not what we're looking for. Huh? Oh, it gives you level recommendations. That's actually kind of smart. <laughs> yeah, I can see you kind of rushing through that and needing that. This is a sky deck. We can find cap uh, the find Captain's Quarters up here. If we find him, we'll find the cargo we're after. Wait, is Captain the name of the guy? Should there be an- there should be an apostrophe there, or maybe like, the captain? I don't know. Alright, then let's find him and get out of here. What the hell? Is that a storm cloud? Aren't we above the clouds? Electric spike. Ooh. I don't think so. You will not harm the captain. I get the feeling you're the captain of the guard. Um, nice shot, big guy, and I don't bite the dust that easily. Now it's my turn. Take this, uh, you, you daughter of a bastard. Blaze Ice Snowflake. God, not bad, pirate, but your magic is still much weaker than mine. That's why there's two of us. If that's the case, let's settle this with Blaze instead. You versus us. Think you can handle two-on-one? Alright, fair. Uh, fine then. I'll allow you this duel, but you had better bring your best because I aim to win this fight. Oh, dang. This game knows how to build up a boss, I gotta say. <laughs> okay, like, stuff like that. That Him going first there is, is a lot more understandable. I'm gonna save up for these, like, super moves, by the way. Um, let's see how much this does. It costs more, so it should do more. Oh, I can use Pirate Eye here. I notice that that doesn't cost any TP as well. Or whatever this game calls it, MNP? Okay, that doesn't look that crazy. Um, he's probably not gonna run out of magic anytime soon if that spell costs two each, and I already dealed, like, weak to earth. That, that, wow, this is a well-designed boss already. <laughs> Making him weak to, like, the, uh, one of your, uh, one of your party member stuff. So, like, you get, you get encouraged to experiment around a bit, a bit with them. Oh, yeah, you really are encouraged to use magic here if that's how much damage that's doing. 
you want healed. Let's see how much this does. Oh, that does one. Okay, so Amelia's gonna be doing the blood to the damage here. Oh, I don't have enough magic for that. What is, does this restore magic? Who's Candy Moo? <laughs> Drinking this super sweet drink makes you feel like your teeth are dying. That doesn't really tell anything. Tell me anything. Uh, just restorative. That doesn't tell me much either. Milk and, like, weird food drinks like that usually restores your magic. Let's see how much this restores. Oh, I can't use it. Huh, that's weird. Let's try some of our other stuff, then. Let's just go ahead and do a normal attack. Heal yourself. Now, if I get a crit, that would really speed this up. <laughs> there we go, your TP is maxed out. Let's see what that super move does next turn then. Make sure you're alive for it. There we go! Uh, we can see what Zack's super move is later. Wow, that was a really well-designed first boss. I like that one quite a bit. <laughs> we got a Magi hat. God damn my ego. I've underestimated another opponent. Serves you right, you big jerk. Enough, tell me about the secret cargo on board the ship. If you do, I might just let you live to die another day. In that case, kill me. I refuse to tell you anything. Fine. Have it your way. Have it your way, you stubborn fool. Isn't that wh what you were going to say, Zack? Red, you're alive. More, uh, more so than you'll be if, uh, if you don't get away from our brother right now. Mend life. Silharl, are you alright? I've been worse, thank you, Ar Armion. To be fair, he did shoot first. Actually, we're pretty, um, we're, we're pretty... Sure, we're pretty sure that since you blew a hole... That's the wrong hole. ...in our ship and started raiding our supplies, you shot first. Right, sorry about that. What the hell is that noise? Oh, he's a character from another story, uh, from the third one. Oh, goodness. Um, I'm gonna assume that that's intentional, although I think the squares means it can't, um, display that text. <laughs> Sounds like so, uh, somebody, somebody's having a bad day. I wonder if we're gonna fight that boss when we play as him. You! What's that supposed to mean, Chuckles? Launch you, Persistent. Ch uh, choke on this, you giant metal monstrosity. Smoke control. Look at that, it's immune to my smoke. Looks like Hig um looks like Higgles has seriously stepped up his game. His game. Are you trying to get us all killed, Chuckles? Where did this thing even come from? Sorry to interrupt, but we have a problem to deal with first. We can leave the explanation for later. <laughs> Look out, this thing is trying to ram us off the ship. Yeah! Oh my god, I love how cinematic this is! Amelia! Zach, wait! No! <laughs> I'm really enjoying this so far, I'm not gonna lie. Like, <laughs> had been clearing, okay. That was quite the fall, little licorice. Chapter 2. Sanct- um, Sanctern Clearing. You know, I'm positive he's done stupider things than jumping off an airship before, but none come to mind right now. 
I know you're injured, <laughs> cat, but I, I, I don't do free lodging. Either get moving or pay for the bed. Well, that was better than I expected. What do you think was gonna happen? Death. Well, at least we're both okay, right, Zach? That reminds me, it may not be uh, be my place to ask, but your full uh, your full name is Zachary Clowning, correct? Yes, it is. You know me, Whiskers. For, um, first of all, it's QZ. Secondly, what Andrina is the King of Pirates doing in, in um in a Saint or Sat Saturn clearing? Look, I wasn't planning on ending up here. Just happy, ju just a happy accident. What even is the Saturn clearing? Wait, you don't know about the village or, mo or, or of monsters? This is the base of uh, of the Advent Spire and home to a uh, King Oko. Hey, give me a break. I've been at this. I've been at at Sky for the last three years of my life. I don't know what's been happening at home. Don't insult him. He's a king. Show him some respect. Sorry, I burst your bubble early, but your king doesn't mean uh, doesn't mean Jax to me. And you've uh, you've overstayed your welcome. Pay for the bed or get lost, kid. Shit, little monster. Ooh, dang, so we're in a monster village? These are always fun. <laughs> oh, and you can save anywhere, too. That's even better. All right. Um, I think that's enough for the first episode. I'm enjoying this so far. I, this game had some kinks that need to be kind of ironed out a bit. Um, I did talk with the dev a bit about that. I am enjoying this now that I can actually pl get, get a bit farther in it. So, <laughs> well, I'll see you folks next time. Oh, I see a sheep up here. Sheep, my favorite animal, so I'm excited to talk to him. <laughs> well, I'll see you folks next time. Thanks for watching.